Welcome to the introductory video for the OTC 3857 TechScope digital oscilloscope. This video will cover the unique features of the OTC TechScope, the parts included in the kit, the installation process, and some key functions we want to tell you about. The OTC TechScope is the first automotive oscilloscope that uses galvanic isolation to protect your hardware from destructive current during test procedures. Electricity always finds the easiest path of resistance to ground. Without OTC's galvanic isolation, Damaging current could pass through your sensitive PCM circuits if you test a controller with a bad ground. When testing a solenoid circuit, the controller command circuit could accidentally be grounded through the scope, thus damaging your hardware. Additionally, the OTC TechScope reads 40 million samples per channel and has a 10 meg ohm impedance that you can use to capture signals from critical components like this oxygen sensor without any special adapter. Furthermore, the Infotech software provides vehicle-specific repair information so you can identify and resolve problems faster than ever. The software includes test procedures, wiring diagrams, component locations, and connector diagrams. Before beginning the installation process, please make sure that you have a complete kit. Your kit should include a two-channel scope assembly, the TechScope CD-ROM, the PC-based digital oscilloscope user guide, a one-year warranty, the USB cable, three scope leads, the yellow scope lead, the green scope lead, and your secondary scope lead, an extension ground cable, and four alligator clips. So to begin the installation process, make sure that you have all the necessary administrative rights. Then, turn off your screensaver as well as your firewall. Next, we're going to insert the CD-ROM into the CD drive. If the CD does not automatically initiate, Go to My Computer, then to the CD-ROM drive and select Setup. Click on Next. Accept the license agreement. I accept the license agreement. Click on Next, click on Install. This may take a while. For sake of video, we'll speed up our time. Now we're going to close the screen, and it's going to go ahead and load its own set of drivers at this time. Let's go ahead and install the drivers. We'll hit next so it does that. Now it's installing the drivers for us. Now it is completed. You'll see that it says the SPX diagnostic tool has been installed, the drivers for it. I'm going to hit finish. And we're going to close out our CD-ROM menu. Now we've completed our installation, let's cover a couple things. During the installation process, please do not have your lab scope hooked up to the USB port. And two, every time you use your lab scope, always remember to use the same USB port each and every time. Before registering your scope, please be sure to turn on the Wi-Fi. And finally, always remember to turn your firewall back on after installation. Now that the Infotech software has been installed, let's discuss some key functions on the OTC scope. I'm going to go ahead and fire the scope up, and I'm going to have my assistant start the car. I'll go ahead and kick it, click on Lab Scope. The OTC Tech Scope lets you adjust the trigger type and the trigger edge, which will determine how the pattern is positioned on the screen. To change the trigger type, click on the plus sign in the left-hand menu and click on the desired channel. Then you will be able to make any adjustments you want. We'll click on Normal. Below that trigger button is another button called Activate Trigger Relocation. By clicking on Activate Trigger Location, I can move the trigger level up or down or to the left or to the right, moving my pattern left or right. The zoom function allows you to focus on a particular area of interest. 
To use the zoom function, click on the magnifying glass on the left-hand menu. You will then be able to choose between 1x and 100x to magnify for both the horizontal and vertical axes. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass. I'll click on 2x. I'll click on 5x. And then I'll click on the menu. And we've zoomed our pattern. The glitch capture function allows you to capture intermittent glitch signal errors. This function is useful for visualizing crucial intermittent problems that are nearly impossible to capture or see on the screen as they happen. To use the glitch capture function, click on the waveform on the top right hand menu. When I do, this screen will then be split in two, with the top screen showing the live pattern and the bottom screen capturing the problem or variation that has occurred. Thank you for watching this introductory video. We sincerely hope you enjoy using the OTC Techscope.